Hello and welcome to this short introduction to uh, data envelopment analysis or DEA. Data envelopment analysis is a wonderful technique, uh, one among several used to uh, identify performance. So it's comparative approach for identifying performance of producers. It compares each producer in the DIA literature producers are known as uh, decision making units or DMU. So it compares each DMU with only the best producers. Notice this is a benchmarking uh, of the DMUs with the best practice. Uh, before we go to the example, I would like to call your attention to a very fundamental assumption in this model. It's, it's assumed that, for example, if we take a given uh, DMU such that it can produce Let's, let's say A, producer A, can produce Y of A outputs from X of A inputs. This producer can produce Y outputs from X inputs. Then other similar DMUs should also uh, produce that level uh, of output from uh, these given inputs, otherwise they are inefficient. So, this is how we compare whether similar DMUs are efficient compared to others. Uh, and, and, and we have uh, DMU A, and then we have DMU B, and then another producer, another producer, and finally, we will have, uh, we'll expect to have a composite uh, uh, DMU with composite inputs and composite outputs, and we call this the virtual producer or the best producer. And the key uh, task here is to find this best producer. Um, for each real producer, we want the best producer uh, to compare with. And if the virtual producer is better than the original producer we, were, we, we are comparing with, then we say the original co producer is inefficient because it's below the best producer. Let's, let's give a, a concrete example. Let's take three hospitals, A, B and C. All of them with the same inputs. Uh, ten doctors, ten doctors, ten doctors. But with varying outputs, let's say Hospital A has 1,000 discharges and 20 operations. Um, and this one B has 400 uh, discharges and 50 operations. Whereas the last hospital, Hospital C, has uh, four, uh, 200 discharges and 150 uh, operations. Now the question is, can we, uh, let's, let's for example take air, just by looking into these two, which we are comparing, we are comparing air with B and C. So do we see any, any way whereby we combine B or C, B and C, 
and get a better result uh, for n. Clearly, uh, we cannot have combinations of B and C that can give us better outputs of A with these inputs. And if we cannot find for A, if we cannot find a virtual producer that uses the same inputs and gives us at least as many as those outputs, then we conclude A is efficient. Let's now turn our attention to B and C. For example, B, can we by anyhow combine A and C and get better outputs for B? with the same inputs and of course yes uh, if we take for example half of this and half of this and combine let's say we have four uh, let's 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 say hospital D, which is combination of C and A. Let's take the same inputs. Half of this is uh, 500 plus half of this is 100, let's say 600. And then again, half of this is 10, 10 plus half of this is 75, then 85. So, now look here, by combining A and B, half from each, we can get a virtual hospital with the same input as B, but better outputs. Just by these numerical uh, calculations, we conclude hospital B is inefficient. Why? Because with the same input compared to A and C, uh, B could achieve higher output. Uh, now, let's change this into a graphical formulation, which I hope will make things even easier. This is the number of operations, and this axis shows the number of discharge. This is A, this is C, and this is B. 450, 150, and then 200 for C, and then 1000 discharge, and 20 operations for A. Now, uh, Of course, when we say, let's have a combination of A and C and create a virtual hospital, what we are assuming is that a convex combination of hospitals. We allow that there can be convex com combination of hospitals. What this means is that, just to refresh your memory, if we have lambda A and lambda B such that both are non-negative and the sum of them is 1, then lambda A times A plus lambda B times B is this combination gives us a weighted mean of this virtual uh, hospital. And um, just let, let's try to create some segments between some combinations. C, we can we can combine. We can we can we can have um, this line connecting this segment connecting B and C and make some combinations. 
and also we can make some combinations between A and B and also some other combination between A and C. And obviously, this line AC lies above both AB and BC, which means this is uh, more desirable than this as we have uh, in this combination we have better output by uh, uh, with, with, with the same input we have higher uh, output combinations and that's why we call this line efficient efficiency frontier efficiency frontier because this is uh, the best uh, this is the highest output that can that we can achieve the combination of uh, uh, of a and c which is uh, as i said better than or higher than the combination of uh, a and b or b and c and since uh, b lies this point b lies below the efficiency frontier we say it's inefficient uh, I would like to make two notes here quickly first of all the efficiency we are talking about so far it's called technical efficiency there are other efficiencies uh, price efficiency and scale, scale efficiency which has to do about uh, uh, the size of uh, production um, and allocative efficiency, which is uh, the total uh, economic as well as technical efficiency. Um, that is one uh, important note I wanted to mention. The other thing is that now it's, we are just talking about two outputs and one input. Doctors, one input, and then two outputs, number of operations and number of visitors. Which is easy, you know, it, it's easy to graph just two outputs. but what if we have multiple outputs and multiple inputs it will obviously be difficult to graph then we need to uh, use linear programming and this can be done by several uh, programs like the solver in excel or the DEAP uh, program developed by some researchers very uh, uh, known in this field. Uh, so that's a short introduction to what uh, we mean by uh, um, uh, DEA and its benchmark by uh, similar, similar producers are compared to one another and those that are for example A and C they are already uh, uh, efficient because they lie on the efficiency, efficiency uh, frontier or efficient frontier whereas B, uh, this hospital is less efficient and it needs to, to reconsider uh, its production process in two ways it could, it could do better in two ways uh, first it could uh, maybe uh, 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 decrease um, its inputs instead of having uh, I calculated and I, I reached that uh, with if, if, if this V had to produce the same amount of B, which is 450 here, then it had to use about 6.3 inputs, which means 6.3 doctors. And uh, this is approximately 6 doctors, we don't have 0.3 doctors. But that's uh, if we wanted to and we assume inputs can be scaled uh, linearly uh, that's one way to go otherwise we could say okay we know that with this with the current inputs that's the number of 10 doctors we can produce in fact about 600 that's 200 more than we did uh, number of discharges and 85 we can increase our, our uh, number of operations from 50 to 85 and we can have a difference of 35 here so we can increase our outputs both outputs by by using the same uh, inputs we were using before
Thank you very much. I hope this uh, helped. Thank you and see you again.